Hey, Max here with Electric Service Center. Today we're gonna to walk you through everything you need to know to get your bike from the box on the road for your first ride. We're just gonna need a few things to get started. First, you're gonna need a utility knife. Just open the box. Be sure you have a number two Phillips screwdriver and a crescent wrench, a three millimeter Allen key, and some side cutters. Last but not least, a bike pump of your choice. Let's get right into it. First things first, let's open this box. All right, we've cut the tape. Let's remove the bike from the box. Pull up on the cardboard flaps to reveal the bike. And if you got a friend, have him assist you. Hey. Let's continue unpacking by removing the foam packaging. Start by cutting zip ties. Be sure to cut all the white zip ties holding the packaging in place. but not the black zip ties holding the cables in place. Also, remove the packaging from the bottom bracket and the rail guard. Your keys will be secured on the rear rack with a blue zip tie. We're gonna need these later. Now that we have all the packaging removed, let's start assembling the bike. Let's start by inserting the seat post. Insert the post past the minimum insertion point. Be sure to tighten the seat post collar and clamp to nine Newton meters, or just tighten it until it leaves an impression on your palm. For the handlebars, raise up the folding stem and lock the folding stem latch into place. Insert the telescoping stem past the minimum insertion point. Be sure to tighten the quick release clamp to seven Newton meters or, you know, until the clamp leaves an impression on your palm. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate how to insert and remove your battery. Also, how to power on and off your bike. I'm just gonna reposition it so we can get a better view. Here is unlocked, no key inserted. Unlocked, key inserted. Turn to the right to lock the battery into place. When the battery is locked, you will see this battery locking pin come out. Turn to the right one more time until it stops. Now the battery is fully locked into place and engaged. To take the battery out, turn the key left. When the key stops moving, press in and continue turning left. You will see the battery locking pin is now retracted. Turn the key all the way to the left and take it out of the keyhole. On the battery is a little lever. Pull up on the battery to pull it out. To reinstall the battery, slide it back into the frame, then repeat what we just learned. All right, now that we've gone over the key positions, let's unfold the bike. When locking the frame into place, listen for the click of the latch going into place and perform a pull test to make sure it's fully seated. All right, now with our bike unfolded, let's go to our display. Locate the display control pad on the left of the handlebars. There are three buttons, up, down, and the power slash mode button. To power on the bike, press and hold the power button until the display turns on. The top of the display shows battery level. Below that is your speedometer. Then your pedal assist level. To change the PAS level, Press the up and down arrows on the display control pad. Level zero will provide no assist. At PAS one, your bike will top out at 10 miles per hour, and you can expect up to 40 mile range from a charge. At PAS five, your max speed will increase while effectively decreasing your range. And at the bottom, you have your odometer to keep track of your distance traveled. Keep in mind that results may vary depending on rider weight, terrain, and other conditions. 
When riding the bike, you can use the throttle instead of pedaling. The bike will cap at 20 miles per hour. Note that the throttle is only engaged in PAS levels one through five and disengaged in PAS level zero. All right, now that the bike's powered up, let's go over our pre-ride safety checklist. First thing on the list is check the front and rear tire pressure. Let's get to it. The sidewall on the tire shows the recommended PSI level. Riders should check to make sure that the bead of the tire is seated properly before inflating. After unscrewing the cap, insert the air pump onto the stem and lock it into place. Air up your tire to the recommended PSI, then detach the pump and screw the cap back on. All right, now that our tires are pumped up, let's move on to the brakes. Make sure that when you pull them, they're not going fully to the grip, but at the same time, you're feeling a good resistance there. Push the bike back and forth to make sure that they're engaging. Do that with the front and back brake levers. This seems pretty good. Now, if it isn't good, we can use these barrel adjusters to make that adjustment. Adjust the cable tension by using the barrel adjuster at the brake lever. or the barrel adjuster at the caliper. All right, now that our brakes are adjusted properly, let's adjust our display hardware with our three millimeter Allen key. You can adjust the display and the display control pad with a three millimeter Allen key. For the shifter, you'll need your Phillips head screwdriver. Be sure when tightening the hardware that you don't over tighten. For your wheels, use your crescent wrench. Next, check on your chain condition to make sure that it's clean and properly lubricated. When checking your chain, make sure it has proper tension and it's not completely dry. Now let's give the bike a good visual inspection. Anything broken or damaged? Anything out of the ordinary? If something strikes you, don't hesitate to give one of our team members a call. Next, let's turn on our lights. Press and hold the up arrow button to turn on the lights. You will see a light icon come on on the display. Be sure both the headlight and tail lights are illuminated. To turn them off, press the up arrow button until you see the lights turn off. Next, let's make sure that our folding stem latch is in place by performing a pull test. All right, this one's important. Check that your handlebar stem is inserted past the minimum insertion point. Insert the telescoping stem past the minimum insertion point. Be sure to tighten the quick release clamp to seven Newton meters. Or, you know, until the clamp leaves an impression on your palm. All right, next, let's make sure that our seat post collar and clamp is properly torqued to the specifications in our owner's manual. Check that the seat post is at the correct height for a comfortable riding position while being inserted past the minimum insertion point printed on the post. Again, be sure that it is tightened to nine Newton meters or until it's tight enough to leave an imprint on your palm after closing. Once inserted, check the seat cannot be twisted out of place and that it's at a height so you can safely ride and dismount the bike with ease. Check that the frame latch is closed and locked. When locking the frame into place, listen for the click of the latch going into place and perform a pull test to make sure it's fully seated. Check the pedals to make sure that they are unfolded and in the locked position. To fold them back up, push in, then down. To unfold them, push the pedal towards the bike and then out. Before you ride, be sure to open up your power box and read your owner's manual. Once you're done reading it, hold on to it for safekeeping. Your charger is located in the second box. Take off all the packaging before using it. Your charge port is located on the left side of the frame towards the seat post. 
Insert your charger into the charging port. When the bike is charging, the light is red. When it's done charging, this light will change to green. Last but not least, make sure whenever you ride, you're wearing all the proper protective gear, like a helmet. It could save you in a pinch. Before you take off, be sure to register your bike with bikeindex.org. We ask that you do so, so that in the event your bike is stolen, it could be marked as stolen on the bike index and then be located by other community members or law enforcement. Your serial number will be located on your head stem of your bike. Thank you so much for joining the Electric family. Please tag us on any adventures that you have. And don't hesitate to call one of our customer service reps for anything that you may need. Happy trails.